In the dust of forgotten empires, beneath the scorching sun of ancient deserts and the echoes of sacred chants, lies a mystery older than the pyramids, deeper than any scroll, and more enduring than exile. For over 3,000 years, the Jewish people have journeyed across continents, surviving persecution, diaspora, and rebirth. Their story is etched in the Torah, echoed in the synagogues, and whispered across generations. But one question has haunted scholars, historians, and entire civilizations. Where did they truly come from? Was there a single origin point, a homeland whose soil holds the first footsteps of a people who would defy time and tyranny? Or is there lineage scattered across forgotten tribes, converging in the mists of ancient migration? Myths abound. The Exodus, the Babylonian captivity, the Roman dispersal. But how much is fact and how much is legend? Now, thanks to revolutionary breakthroughs in genetic sequencing, scientists are peering through the veil of time. Ancient bones speak. Mitochondrial whispers echo truths long buried. And the answers they bring are rewriting everything we thought we knew. What if the true origin of the Jewish people is not where we expected? What if the DNA holds secrets that could challenge both religious tradition and modern history? The code has been cracked. The evidence is real. And what it reveals will shake the foundations of identity itself. Where do the Jewish people truly come from? And what ancient blood runs through their veins? To understand the magnitude of this discovery, we must first grasp the depth of the mystery. The Jewish people are among the oldest continuous cultures in human history. From the ancient kingdom of Judah to modern-day Israel, their journey spans over three millennia, stretching across the sands of the Middle East, the mountains of Europe, the steppes of Central Asia, and the deserts of North Africa. They have been merchants in Babylon, philosophers in Alexandria, scholars in Cordoba, and survivors in the ghettos of Warsaw. Despite dispersion and diaspora, they maintained a unified cultural and religious identity unlike any other. But as history unfolded, questions about their true genetic origin persisted. Were they the descendants of a single Semitic tribe that emerged in the Levant around 1200 BCE? Or did their lineage absorb countless migrations, conversions, and integrations from distant populations? Historians argued. Theologians debated. But science remained silent. Until now, the implications are enormous. Understanding the genetic origins of the Jewish people is not merely an academic curiosity. It strikes at the core of political borders, religious claims, and cultural continuity. If ancient DNA could confirm or contradict biblical accounts, it would alter the historical narrative taught across nations. If it revealed unexpected ancestry, it could reshape the understanding of identity for millions around the globe. Genetic studies had been attempted before, but the technology was too crude, the samples too few. Today, however, with advanced genome mapping and access to thousands of ancient remains across the Fertile Crescent, something extraordinary has emerged. An ancient signal, hidden deep within the double helix, is rising to the surface. The past is no longer silent. It is encoded. And the first clues are about to change everything we thought we knew. It began with a bone fragment. Dry, brittle, and nearly indistinguishable from the surrounding soil, it was unearthed in a cave near the shores of the Dead Sea. Archaeologists had long suspected that these caves, once home to ancient sects and rebels fleeing Roman persecution, held more than scrolls and broken pottery. But no one expected this. A human femur, carbon dated to nearly 2,500 years ago, discovered near the ruins of a settlement believed to have been inhabited by early Judean communities. The location was no coincidence. This region, nestled between Jerusalem and the Judean desert, 
had been a cultural and spiritual epicenter during the Iron Age. The bone, long forgotten beneath centuries of sediment, was sent to a genetics lab in Tel Aviv for standard cataloging. But what they found inside shocked them. Preserved within the marrow was a rare and complete strand of ancient mitochondrial DNA, one of the most pristine ever recovered in the region. Mitochondrial DNA, passed down from mother to child, holds the genetic signatures of maternal lineage going back thousands of years. The team ran comparisons against modern Jewish populations across Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. At first, nothing stood out. But then, anomalies began to emerge. Subtle patterns, unique mutations, shared haplogroups pointing to a single genetic bottleneck that occurred sometime around the Babylonian exile. A turning point in Jewish history was now being traced not through scripture, but through molecules. Even more startling, similar genetic markers began to surface in remains found hundreds of miles away, in the Caucasus Mountains, in ancient Phoenician ports, and even in tombs buried beneath Istanbul. What were these people doing there? Were they part of the same lineage? Had ancient migrations been far more complex than we imagined? One fragment of bone had opened the floodgates to a mystery that now demanded urgent investigation. The discovery triggered a wave of scientific collaboration across the globe. Geneticists from Israel, historians from Oxford, archaeologists from Armenia, and linguists from Beirut joined forces in what would become one of the most ambitious multidisciplinary studies ever undertaken in the field of ancient ancestry. The goal was clear. Trace the mysterious genetic signal across time and geography and reconstruct the real migratory journey of the Jewish people. Teams began cross-referencing the Dead Sea sample with ancient genomes extracted from burial sites in Jerusalem, Jericho, Sidon, and even the ruins of ancient Carthage. But the real breakthrough came from an unexpected location, a burial crypt beneath the streets of Tbilisi, Georgia. Inside, they found a remarkably well-preserved skeleton dating to the 6th century BCE, carrying nearly identical mitochondrial DNA to the Dead Sea sample. It was unmistakable. The same maternal lineage, the same genetic signature, thousands of kilometers apart. The implications were staggering. For centuries, it was believed that the Jewish people emerged strictly from the Levant. But this evidence suggested a deeper network of migrations, a population that moved, merged, and re-emerged over centuries, leaving behind faint echoes of their presence in unexpected places. To make sense of this, researchers turned to historical texts. They examined Babylonian records, Phoenician trade logs, and Assyrian deportation maps. Every scroll and inscription seemed to support a story of forced movement, diaspora, and cultural fusion. Yet still, something was missing. How did this lineage survive, remain intact, and resurface in distant regions with such precision? The team needed to dig deeper, both literally and genetically. Using state-of-the-art genomic sequencing tools, they mapped over 800 samples from Jewish communities around the world. Ashkenazi, Sephardi, Mizrahi, Beta Israel, and even the obscure Bene Israel of India. Patterns began to emerge, clusters of shared mutations pointing not just to the Middle East, but to a triangle of movement, stretching from the Levant, through the Caucasus, and into parts of southern Europe and North Africa. The diaspora, it seemed, had been far more ancient and complex than anyone had dared to imagine, but the final confirmation would require something irrefutable, something unbreakable. DNA was telling a story, but was it the whole story? In a sterile laboratory in Haifa, under the hum of sequencers and the sharp glow of monitors, the code was finally cracked. The team had completed the largest comparative DNA analysis ever conducted on Jewish populations. 
spanning 3,000 years and over 120 distinct genetic clusters. Using ancient DNA extracted from archaeological remains and cross-referencing it with modern samples, scientists reconstructed a detailed genetic map. What they uncovered was both astonishing and, for some, deeply unsettling. At the heart of the findings was a single ancient genetic signature, a maternal haplogroup known as KX and E1B1A, traced consistently across Jewish communities from Yemen to Poland, from Morocco to Iran. But that haplogroup didn't originate in the Levant. Its oldest, purest form was found in the Caucasus region, near modern-day Georgia and Armenia, dating back over 4,000 years. Further analysis revealed that this lineage had branched out toward Mesopotamia and the Levant during the Bronze Age, likely through a wave of proto-Semitic migration and intermarriage with local Canaanite tribes. This suggests a dual origin, a fusion of ancient Caucasian hunter-gatherer DNA with Semitic-speaking peoples from the Fertile Crescent. In other words, the Jewish people are not the product of a single origin, but rather a remarkable genetic tapestry woven from two ancient worlds, each carrying millennia of survival, adaptation, and evolution. The results were replicated in labs in Cambridge, Berlin, and Boston. Peer-reviewed and published in Nature Genetics, the findings confirmed what centuries of oral history and scripture could only suggest. The Jewish identity is not bound to one soil or one people, but forged through migration, resilience, and genetic convergence. Even more surprising were the connections to non-Jewish populations. Shared ancestry markers appeared in Kurdish, Druze, and Armenian communities, indicating that long before religious identity took shape, there had been intermingling among tribes that modern borders would later separate. This wasn't just the story of the Jews. It was the story of an entire region, of cultures born from the same ancestral flame. The mystery was no longer speculation. It was fact, etched into DNA, tested, verified, and undeniable. Imagine the world 4,000 years ago, vast, fragmented, and on the brink of transformation. In the highlands of the Caucasus, early human communities thrived along the rugged terrain of what is now Armenia and Georgia. Isolated yet connected through trade and war, these groups carried within them a distinct genetic lineage, one that would, unknowingly, become part of the foundation of the Jewish people. As climate shifted and tribal conflicts intensified, Waves of migration pushed these early populations southward. Crossing the mountain passes, they entered Mesopotamia, mingling with Semitic tribes already established along the Tigris and Euphrates. These were the Akkadians, the Amorites, the early Canaanites, speakers of ancient tongues and keepers of agricultural knowledge that would define the region for millennia. By 1800 BCE, these merged groups had begun to settle the Levant, forming tribal coalitions and religious cults that would eventually give rise to the Proto-Israelites. The fusion wasn't just cultural, it was genetic. Children born of these unions carried within them the DNA of both worlds, the northern highlands and the southern deserts. Over time, these early Hebrews formed the foundations of the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. But their story was far from linear. The Babylonian conquest in 586 BCE shattered the kingdom of Judah, scattering its people across Mesopotamia. Yet, instead of disappearing, they adapted. Exile became identity. In Babylon, Judean exiles married locals, yet retained religious traditions, further entrenching the dual ancestry now confirmed by science. Then came Rome and with it, a second great scattering. From North Africa to Iberia, from Persia to the Rhineland, Jewish communities took root in foreign lands, often isolated, often persecuted, but always remembering. They carried more than scrolls and prayer. They carried genes. In medieval Europe, 
the Ashkenazi Jews emerged with unique genetic signatures shaped by isolation and population bottlenecks. Meanwhile, Sephardic Jews expanded into North Africa and the Ottoman Empire, their DNA interlacing with Berbers, Arabs, and Greeks. Every expulsion, every migration, added a new layer to the genetic story, complex, painful, and undeniably human. Today, that story can be read like a map. The ancient origins in the Caucasus, the spiritual awakening in the Levant, the dispersals through Babylon, Rome, and the Inquisition. And now, the return to Israel, to memory, and to the truth written not just in books, but in the very cells of those who still carry that ancient flame. The story of the Jewish people is not a straight line. It is a constellation, a complex web of migration, memory, faith, and survival that stretches across millennia and continents. For centuries, their origins were locked in scripture and shrouded in myth. But now, with the language of genes, the past is speaking in new ways. What was once legend is now layered with data. What was once debated in temples and universities is now illuminated in laboratories. The truth is not simple. It never was. It is both ancient and evolving, just like the people who carry it. The genetic revelations don't replace history. They deepen it. They show that identity is not fixed to borders or bloodlines, but formed through adaptation, resilience, and collective memory. The Jewish people are not defined by a single land or language, but by the endurance of their story, etched into DNA, carried across deserts, whispered in exile, and now confirmed under the microscope. In a world obsessed with division, their genetic tapestry reveals something far more profound. Connection. Across faiths, across lands, across time itself. And so, the mystery once buried beneath stone and silence now stands revealed, not as a singular truth, but as a mosaic of revelations, each piece glimmering with the weight of history and the promise of understanding. The ancient bones have spoken, the genes have traced their path, and the origin story of one of the world's most enduring peoples has taken on a new dimension, scientific, spiritual, and human. If this journey through time, science, and identity sparked your curiosity, don't stop here. Hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dive explorations, and check out our other episodes uncovering the hidden DNA stories of lost civilizations, ancient empires, and buried truths waiting to rise. Because in the end, the past isn't dead. It's encoded, and it's only just beginning to speak.